Hello and welcome to another Sunday Junk Journal Snacks episode. Thank you so much for being here. Look how chunky this baby from Nadia is getting. It's just amazing. It is so much fun to work in this journal. If you're new here, I have Nadia's Instagram linked below. I bought this journal from her and she makes custom journals just the way you like it. I'm going to work again towards the back where I have less. This is the one we did last time. Still love, love, love those colors. And today let's work on this one. Just going to add my cigar box underneath to stabilize the whole journal. And then I'm just going to clamp the pages down to make my life easier. <laughs> All set. So this time I'm going to do a whole spread and I have something specific in my mind already. I want to document an afternoon I had with a friend of mine on which we went to a museum here in Vienna and also to a really nice interior design shop, a new shop that has opened up just recently in the city center. And from this shop, I got this beautiful vintage postcard. And this is where I'm going to journal about that afternoon. So I definitely want to incorporate this postcard on this page. And I also wanted to include the ticket of the museum we went to. So we went to the Albertina Modern, which is also quite a new museum here in Vienna. And we went to look at some of the exhibits. Some were really nice, some not so much, but I think that's always the case in museums. You're never gonna like everything, but it was a very fun experience. And maybe you're wondering why does my ticket look like this? <laughs> so before I turned on the camera, this ticket was bright white, which of course wouldn't go with my journal. So I thought I would spray some coffee on it, which you can see here, which is lovely. And then of course I couldn't wait for it to air dry because that would have taken a few hours. So I thought I would take my heat gun to it. And wherever I went too close with the heat gun, these black spots came out kind of like with receipts you would get from, from like the supermarket or from these cash registers. So there's some sort of thermal thing in here that reacted with the heat which actually turned out super cool like especially here i mean i think it looks really really nice but i don't know how safe this is honestly so something maybe you shouldn't do <laughs> so if you spray your tickets with coffee then just let them air dry you don't need to make a video so you don't need to <laughs> You don't need to speed it up like I do. But I was surprised because this kind of felt like, I mean, it was very sturdy. It did feel a bit plasticky, but I never thought this would react this way. But anyway, I think it's cool. So this is how it's gonna go in my journal. And I'm going to put this here as a pocket. Now it is a bit too long, which is fine. I don't mind that it sticks out here a little bit, but I don't want this red showing because the red is a bit too aggressive <laughs> for this journal in my eyes. So I need to find something to just cover this part that will peek out from the other side. I have this scrap left over from a ledger paper from another project and I'm just going to put that over the edge and cut off the excess. And actually I see here now that this is already tearing where it's perforated, so I'm going to have to strengthen that as well. So I need to put another piece over that. And then I have this butterfly. This is a die cut I have. And if I put this here, we will hardly see it. So I want to make it pop more by adding some color to it. I'm going to be adding some Wild Honey Distress Stain, which is a beautiful golden yellow. You can obviously also do this with watercolor or acrylic paint, but this is just a very quick way to do it. So I'm just going to dab it and soak it with the color. And then I will dry this. And then I will also add some gold splatters with my Van Gogh Watercolor Deep Gold 803. I'm going to add a lot here because I'm going to need that later on as well. Just gonna spray it with some water. 
And now we're just gonna make some splatters. <laughs> They're going everywhere except on the butterfly. <laughs> there, that's better. In the meantime, while that's drying, I also want to add something in the background here. Nothing too crazy, but just a little bit of interest. And since we already started with the gold, let's continue with that. <laughs> And I'm going to take this stencil. This is from Action, so unfortunately I cannot link it. It is a local chain. It's actually a Dutch chain. And I'm going to use the same gold here. And I'm going to use my flat brush. Again, you can do this with acrylics as well. Are you also as addicted to gold as I am? <laughs> is it just me? <laughs> I don't know. There's something about it which makes everything you put it on so special maybe that's why gustav klimt used it so much as well in his paintings so let's see what this looks like without smearing it yeah some of them smeared a little bit but overall i think it's totally fine i don't want to waste what is left here so i have this piece of ledger paper and I'm just going to put this on and I have a dry baby wipe and I'm just going to wipe over it hoping that some of it will actually oh it's too dry already I was hoping it would spread through the holes but it's too dry maybe it would have needed a wet baby wipe actually or maybe if we spray it let's try that yeah a little bit so that's kind of fun as well. <laughs> On this side, I wanted to add some butterflies as well to make the theme of the butterflies continue here. And I chose these here. These are from my Vintage Butterfly Digital, which I will link for you below. And I think these go well with the ones that we have here. But I think it would be boring to just put them here on this. So I thought I would add this piece of absolutely gorgeous vintage leather underneath. This is left over from the junk journal I made with the beautiful supplies from Sharika from the challenge that I had just completed. I will link that playlist for you below in case you missed that whole thing. <laughs> and by coincidence, it has exactly the size I need for this page. I don't even need to trim it down. So I wanted to add these in a way that I don't cover any of the beautiful script. So I thought I would do this here. Actually, I will change these. I don't want to go over this beautiful signature like that. And what I want to do before I glue this down is I want to go over it with my sewing machine by just sewing a line through them and so that they stay in place I'm just going to very gently add some glue on their wings here so that they stay where they're supposed to stay while I'm sewing and as always if you want to do something like this but don't want to sew then you just use a marker and make a faux stitch like this and now I can also still kind of bend the wings up a little bit but of course since they're going to be squished down in this book anyway once I close it I'm not sure how much sense that makes <laughs> so they could be completely detached from the paper but yeah as I said they're going to be squished down anyway <laughs> okay so now I can just glue that onto the other side it's a shame for this but yeah what can we do It makes me so happy to have a piece of this letter in this journal. <laughs> Our little butterfly is dry. You can hardly see the gold spots because we put them on a gold yellow, <laughs> but still I can see them. So we can now add him to the ticket. I love the way this ticket looks, it's so cool. And I think I want to sew around this one as well. So I'm not going to sew on the edge here because I know that's going to stick out. So I want to be sure to sew here where the page ends like this. 
and now I just put glue on the three sides where I sewed and I can attach this as a pocket. Oh, should I have made a half circle? I should. Okay, I can still do that before it sticks down completely. So on the other side now we have this which is very neutral which is good and of course i also want to add some gold splatters here where the butterflies are <laughs> while that dries i want to journal about my afternoon with my friend here on the back The gold has dried here in the meantime as well, so I can stick my card in here now. And there's my spread. Another quick and easy one. This has dried as well. Maybe I'll show you a close-up of the splatters. I don't know how well you can see them. They are quite subtle. So this took me like maybe 15 minutes. So it's another memory that I have in this beautiful journal, which I would otherwise probably forget over time because I'm such a fish brain. <laughs> so again, I want to encourage you to put down your memories, no matter how big or small, put them in a journal, add visual elements that will help you remember them more. <laughs> this makes me happy <laughs> thank you so much for being here i'm so happy to share my journey in this journal with you but i do hope you play in yours as well <laughs> hope to see you in the next one love you guys Mwah. Mwah.